everyone in the conference room. Mm -hmm. You know what could have prevented all this, don't you? No, what? Pictures. How could you make up characters if everyone you wrote about how to be photographed? You know, Stephen, if you wanted to, you could do these kids a giant favor. Yeah? Yeah. You could write something boring one of these days. Give them a little less to live up to. I suppose I could. I mean, we don't want a bunch of teenagers getting ulcers, do we? I thought I was going to have to explain all this to you. Well, what do you think of this guy? We've read through all the pieces now, the entire staff, and we've come up with a list of those whose facts and sources we couldn't verify independently. I know you can't admit guilt of any kind, but I want you to confirm a few titles for me. We're not prepared to confirm or deny anything at this time. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to read to you a list of suspicious titles, one by one. If you raise an objection to a particular title, We'll fact check it again in the hope of removing it from the list. If you remain silent, we'll assume that piece is fabricated, either partially or entirely. And it'll stay on. Is that clear to everyone? Okay. Hazardous to your mental health. That means it stays on the list of suspicious pieces, fabricated pieces. We understand. Can we move along? Holy Trinity. Probable clause. Don't you dare. Spring breakdown. State of nature. Rock the morons. After the fall. You have to know who you're writing for. And you have to know what you're good at. I record what people do. I find out what moves them, what scares them. And I write that down. That way they're the ones telling the story. And you know what? Those kind of pieces can win Pulitzers too. Steve. <laughs> 